What's my Roman Empire? Maybe we'll find out today. Today I asked my audience, what's their Roman Empire? And if you don't know what that means, like some of these losers, it's something that you think about every day. Something that ever since it happened, you've not stopped thinking about it. Case in point, uh, your mother's soft skin. That's my Roman Empire. Me? I'm a thousand years old. You can't kill me! Right, who is this? Styles. That's Harry Styles? Yes, I'm using light mode. Most people do. One in chat have you use light mode, two in chat have you used dark mode on, on stuff. Are you nuts? I was gonna say ban them. I should just stop streaming. I went through the stages of grief with this one. What is it? Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man, I watched a little bit of. It's a bit too devastating for me as a show. Oh god, this one comes in from average Harry. Walk warn me, man dem. Oh, I cannot do this. It's Today's video is sponsored by Blinkist. Blinkist is an app which enables you to understand the most important things of over 6,500 non-fiction books and podcasts in just 15 minutes. If you're like me and you find yourself getting extremely interested in certain things, then Blinkist is the perfect app for you. It boils down all of the key information in a non-fiction piece of work into blinks which you can then read or listen to in podcast form. Recently, I've wanted to learn a lot about attachment theory. So I just typed in attachment and there is a multitude of works around it. So I listened to all of the blinks of Becoming Attached by Robert Caron. It delved into the patterns of parenting being passed down through attachment styles. I don't want kids yet, by the way, in case any of you are concerned. And tomorrow I'm going to listen to Platonic by Marisa G. Franco, which is about how attachment styles can affect maintaining and making friendships. Something I definitely don't need help with. Blinkist even have a new feature called Spaces, where you can create a space with friends and family, sharing and recommending titles from the Blinkist library all in one place. And any member of a shared space can access all of the titles within it, with or without a Blinkist premium subscription. If you're a premium user, you can create multiple spaces. All you need to do is tap on the spaces icon in the bottom right, tap create space, give it a name, and then share and create space to send an invite to whoever you'd like. And just like that, your space has been created. Just click invite people and start sharing title recommendations and exchanging ideas. Right now, Blinkist have a Black Friday exclusive offer where you can get 75% off of Blinkist premium until the 30th of of November. So start your seven day free trial now by clicking my link in the description. And thank you to Blinkist for sponsoring this video. Click the link down below to check them out. You are sh me. Hey guys, it's me, Have Not Smart. And earlier today, I put out a poll on Twitter asking if I should send for a YouTuber called Memeulus. He is just like me. This is exactly the kind of kid I was. How long ago was this, Harry? Like two days? I have the phrase, did you know we have a website committed to heart? Love a TK Maxx. Great destination to go with friends, partners, family. If you're with someone and you're bored, go to a TK Maxx, walk around that shit. You don't even need to buy anything. Love a TK Maxx. Oh God, here we got an F1 loser. Don't the entire one. lap of the Abu Dhabi F1 race in 2021. Oh Grow up. You know, I was doing trials for the band and we had a guitarist come in and try out and he was a very gifted guitarist, but he started having a conversation with Jono and Sam about F1 and Jago was getting involved. And I realized the F1 balance had tilted too far to people who liked F1. And that was my reason for not having him in the band. <laughs> and then later on, after we got Matt Gavin on, we were like three weeks in and he just brings up F1 out of nowhere. My face when that happened, I got tricked, man. Just saw Harry Styles a bit top plus. That's Thomas in it and LD Shadow Lady, right? This wouldn't be too amiss at a James Marriott show. That still fucks me up. LD Shadow Lady came to a fucking James Marriott gig. That's so funny. Do you reckon LD Shadow Lady knew that I was the person that fucked with her at that MCC game? Do you reckon she had any idea? I don't think she did. She was like looking on stage and so was like, this, this music's kind of mid. Little did she know that motherfucker on stage was trolling her. <laughs> It's been 13 years. Is there a fire exit? Law of Warcraft. Grow up. All right, and I'm pissed off because I really wanted World of Warcraft as a kid. My my parents wouldn't let me have it. And that upsets me. This was my Roman Empire. Who is this man? I recognize him. Don't say it's me. It's me doing Go Little Rockstar. This moment is probably the reason I had a career last year. <laughs> this video of Broadway actor and movie star Andrew B. Feldman. <laughs> I get it. Wow. Very good. Holy shit. Get, get fucking over it. Get over it. It's never coming back. It's gone forever. Leave me alone. Twat. My, my, I should just dedicate my next album to trolling and being like, I don't want the E-Boys to come back. Please stop asking for them to come back. It's been two and a half years since it ended. And like, actually like we stopped it. Like it's gonna be three years and half a year. Three years. What have you done since then? Sorry, that was a bit real. Is this Phoebing Bridger? That is Phoebing Bridger. Watch me.
Jesus! The Holy Bible. I must admit, I don't think about the Holy Bible all that often. How often do you think about the Holy Bible? Because obviously there's some people who think about it daily or weekly. I'd say maybe once a month. Never. Okay, come off it, dickheads. What about right now? You think about the Holy Bible. And I'm not, I'm not trying to push religion, right? I'm not. But... You do think about it. Don't lie to me. Someone said, but I'm gay. Yeah, but I'm not saying you must adhe- You must heed the Holy Bible. God, this one is so real. It's all about YouTube. It's not really though, is it? It's about making money. That's why- that's Sorry, that's, that wasn't my like, based take. I always assumed that those kinds of people were just in it for money, you know? It was for charity. Huh. <clears throat> Time to do today's stream. This spoon, she was my gay awakening. She is the reason I am gay. What did this spoon do? Isn't that spoon from like number, number jacks? The fact that I know that just goes to show how fucked you lot are. You guys have mentioned that so many times that I now know what that is. I know it's something really sad, by the way. My cat will always jump on my lap whenever I am with people or talking to people or streaming. More so than when I'm on my own. Cause when I'm on my own, I'm usually doing something. So he knows now to, to approach me when I'm doing this. Cause he knows I will definitely cuddle like because i rarely reject him these games are my literal childhood wait what's this one star stable never heard of it purple place it's purple place the one that just came on on computers because no one ever really played that did we <gasps> where did that have the cake game stop saying kiat about my fucking cat guys <laughs> people are saying kiat i have this entire video saved in my camera roll let me see hello i've just woken up meat mountain? early why? Because Wilbur says we're gonna drive to Iowa. Meat Mountain. What a video. I think it should just be called The Race to Meat Mountain. Otto, you are all up in my fucking business, bro. I cannot see my screen. <laughs> Who is that? Adios Lele, no it's not. Honestly, this is probably one of my Roman empires. I think about the fact that I wouldn't exist as I do now without this song quite a lot. Like, it's weird to think that it all started with that. Oh, baby. You're just a baby. You're just a four-year-old. He's just so smushed. What is this image? Why, why did Charlie get so baby girl? Honestly, it might be weird, but I honestly think quite a lot about the Tully monster. What the fuck is the Tully monster? An extinct genus of soft-bodied bilater- bi Bilaterian. What the fuck? Motherfucker, this is just a slug. 1,000 subs right now, I go and shave my beard. Me and Paul Breach cross my mind on a daily basis. I wonder how many times he gets approached. He must get recognized so much, but I wonder how many times he gets approached. I have no issue with people approaching me. There's one guy who approaches me all the time, is always so surprised by me, is always drunk, and makes me super fucking uncomfortable. But everyone else is super respectful. I never I never really have issues with it, fortunately. Like, the people who do come up to me are just lovely people. Paddle pop begins. That's what I say when I start having sex. <laughs> Paddle pop, this photo shoot, I think about it daily. This is what I want my outfit to be for the tour. Like, I want to dress as that. I want to have, like, the black trousers, white shirt, black tie, and then the red makeup. Me and my dad matching with our Don't Blame Me hats. Shout out to you if you bought a Don't Blame Me hat. There was only 200 of those, and I own three of them. There's so much behind these. What's going on here? Oh, what's his name? Oh, God, I forgot his name. Something Pascal? Pedro Pascal. No, it's not Pedro. Paul Mezcal! <laughs> I'm probably the only person who's ever got those two people mixed up. So I imagine that's Paul Mezcal's ex and Phoebe Binger. My Roman Empire is thinking about why I turned queer literally one week after I started watching your streams, listening to your music. <laughs> between my YouTube channel and my Spotify and then an LGBTQ plus flag. It's not my fault, right? Your, your, your sheltered feelings that you come to terms with, I don't reveal them. You're just coming to understand yourself. It is not my fault. My Roman, Roman Empire, it's blank because I have the luxury of having my brain completely blank and having no thoughts, which way is luxury. Does anyone else have that? Aphantasia, is that what that is? That's what I do when I, when I see one of my followers. A fan? Taser ya! Uh, it's the inability to visualize otherwise known as image-free thinking. I, I think I have image-free thinking. Like, if I go Apple, yes, I, I, there's nothing there. But I have a good memory, and like, I'm, I'm, I'm a creative person. See, this is the thing. People say they see an Apple, but you don't, do you? You're lying. It really frustrates me when people lie about that. If you close your eyes and think Apple, do you see a red Apple? Don't lie. It's not cool. You're shitting me. You don't actually see. You just, you, you think you do. You're not seeing one. There's no red 
there. Red apple. Nothing. You're lying to me. You are lying. Like, and I don't know why you think it's cool to lie about that. All right, I'm putting it into a poll. There is no fucking way this many of you see an apple. Sorry, bullshit. I call bullshit. A red apple. You see, you're lying. Me squishing my cat. Is that is that really your Roman Empire? Because realistically, that happened today. Oh, it's just, it's weird because I... There, there should be something here, but I just can't see anything because, well, maybe they're banned. It's so funny. I, I saw Thomas Pearson to record the um the visualizers uh, for the album. And I was like, oh, is it true that when you, if you're banned now, you just can't watch the stream? And he was like, yes, yes, it, that is true. This freaking plant, it just grew out of nowhere in my other plant. That's so real. I accidentally got a plant. It's like the plant that I have. Oh wait, it's dead again. Look at this shit, right? This is mental. I want everyone to take a note of how fucking dead this plant is. I'm gonna do something. Right, hella fucking dead, yeah? I'm gonna leave this motherfucker here. So it's gonna be vis visible in the streams. Out of nowhere, randomly, that plant will be alive again. Sometimes I don't even need to fucking water it. James is deader than my dad. Well, unlike your dad, I'll be able to bring this one back. Aw. One of my favorite pictures of me. Me and my boy. Oh my god. It's me and, um, me and Will having a cuddle. We didn't actually know each other very well at that point. Like, that was, I think, our second time... Meeting, maybe? How oh, I wish this is what actually happened. This, because what the hell is this? Tell you what, if you're ever struggling with uh, some form of dysmorphia with your face or your body, because I have, I love using funny lenses when recording myself. That person is not me. It completely disconnects my brain. I never think I'm looking at myself. Oh my God. I remember when we found out that Jack Manifold posted his penis, we all checked Be Real. I found out in a group, all of us were just like spamming Be Real, refreshing it. To see his cock would have been hilarious.